In the last few videos, we looked at what happens um, if y goes to infinity as x approaches a certain number. Right? So we looked at infinite limits. So now we want to look at what happens as x goes to infinity. Right? Um, sometimes we can say something about this. For some functions, like for example, polynomial functions, they're going to grow without bound when x gets big. Right? When x gets big, so does the function. Um, we, might, we might, in some cases, be able to say that, that the limit at, at infinity is also infinity. Um, we can, in fact, have infinite limits at infinity. Um, but right now, we want to look at the, at the case where we have a finite limit as, as x approaches infinity. Okay? Um, so we're looking at a situation like this. So we want to have a limit L where if we go far enough out in the graph, right, um, there's going to be some point, some value, maybe we'll call it maybe C or, or M. Let's call it M, maybe, um, where um, once x gets bigger than m, I know that f of x is going to stay within epsilon of L for, for all remaining x values. For all x values bigger than m, f of x is going to be between L plus epsilon and L minus epsilon. And the usual story with limits, if somebody takes a smaller epsilon, they shrink this band. Well, then I just have to go a little bit further out, right? So having a limit at infinity means that no matter how small we make epsilon, if I go far enough out, I can eventually get within that band, right? So given any epsilon, I can find this m, right? And that's exactly what the, what the definition says. So if we say the, the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals l, what that means is Given, given, given any epsilon bigger than zero, there is some m bigger than zero such that for all x bigger than this m, f of x minus l will be less than epsilon in absolute value. Okay? So this is, this is what it means to have a limit at infinity, right? Is that you can always find this m so that for every x value bigger than that m, the distance between f of x and l will be less than your epsilon. Okay. Um, now, of course, we can also talk about limits as x goes to minus infinity. In there, it's the same story. The only thing that changes is we reverse these inequalities, right? m would be a negative number, and we'd be choosing x smaller than m. Otherwise, same definition. Okay. Um, we can we can add one more bit of the definition here. I think we have time. Yes, this video hasn't gotten too long yet. So here's the definition. If we have either the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x equals l, or the limit as x goes to minus infinity of f of x equals l, we say that y equals l is a horizontal. asymptote for the graph y equals f of x. Okay. So horizontal asymptotes have to do with limits where x is going to infinity rather than limits where f of x is going to infinity. Okay. So we'll look at a few examples um, and then we'll move on.